Hey guys, Tonic here, and welcome to Fallout Mods Monthly, a showcase where I show hot and trending mods for Fallout 4. Starting off, we have a brand new mod called Forced Evolution Super Mutant Add-ons from Rascal Art. This mod enhances Super Mutants by adding a few new enemies to the ranks. You can now come across Super Mutant Elites who wear heavier armor and use stronger weapons, new Super Mutant Butchers, they aren't as big as Behemoths and not as tough but they are still pretty deadly. Super Mutant Brainiacs, these will telekinetically fling rocks at you and shoot radiation. And my personal favorite, the Airborne Suiciders, they just have a missile strapped to their back. And lastly, this mod will add FEV Rats. You can find these new enemies anywhere Super Mutants are normally found in the Wasteland. And overall, it's a neat mod that adds some nice variety to the Commonwealth Super Mutant population. Next up, we have a new mod called Enemies Fear Power Armor. With this mod, enemies will notice when you're in power armor, and if you initiate combat or kill an NPC while wearing power armor, enemies have a chance to run away in fear. Now, I love this mod. With it installed, you really feel like a walking tank when fighting against smaller enemies. Only humans, non-feral ghouls, and small animals will have a chance to run away. Larger enemies like robots, super mutants, and deathclaws won't get intimidated by your power armor. The chance of enemies running away is based on your charisma level and rank of the intimidation perk. You can even configure the mod in its MCM menu. You can turn the mod on and off, change the distance, and the fear chance. For the sake of this video, I did have the fear chance all the way up while recording, just to show what this mod does. But if I were doing a normal playthrough, I'd turn it down a bit so it's not too overpowered. This mod is fully compatible with AI overhauls, power armor overhauls, and mods that add new power armor. So give it a try, I highly recommend it. The Experiment is a new quest mod from CSEP. It adds roughly over one and a half hours of quest content. This mod adds a new building at the south end of Natick Banks, right behind the Red Rocket Station. It's right here on the map, and to start the quest you just need to enter the cottage. After searching around for a bit you will find the entrance to an elevator that will take you to an underground bunker. Heading down into the bunker you will come across some gunners and scientists. From here the quest really takes off and you will explore the bunker, figure out what's going on and choose who to side with. The characters are all voiced, and the voice acting is pretty good. Lift the lockdown, Wolf! I ain't lifting, sir. Why the hell not? That is simply because the encryption on that lockdown is far beyond the skills of some wasteland code monkey. You would need the director's password to open it, but oh no, you seem to have put a bullet in the head of Burns, the one person who had the access code. The mod has multiple endings and different choices that change the course of your playthrough, and it has a ton of skill checks and perk checks, for example, here's this frozen door, and if you have a lighter, you can thaw the lock. If you have the strength, you can break it. And if you have the endurance, you can breathe on it to warm it up. There are several skill checks like this throughout the quest, and I really like that. The quest took me a little over an hour to complete. It's not too long, and it's not too short. It's just about perfect for what it is. I did not experience any major bugs. The story is good, and you even get a unique weapon at the end based on your choice. With the ending I got, I was given this prototype cryo ray that freezes enemies. And speaking of weapons, up next we have some new weapon mods. Degenerate DAC and CSEP have been hard at work dropping a ton of new weapon mods over the past month. These weapons are all extremely customizable, integrated well into the game, lore friendly, and well thought out. These weapons are injected into the world's leveled list, so for example the Varmint Shotgun will begin spawning on Raiders, Gunners, and Minutemen, and you can purchase them from vendors after level 7. Stronger weapons like the Infantry Battle Rifle for example, will begin spawning on Raiders, Gunners, and Brotherhood of Steel Soldiers and Shops after level 30. So each weapon is pretty balanced, and you can tell a lot of thought and care went into making these weapons. Each weapon also has a few unique variants scattered around the map, some will be found while exploring, and some can be purchased from specific vendors. Each weapon looks absolutely amazing. They are extremely detailed and the animations are great. I could honestly make an entire video just on these weapons alone, I really like them. But Degenerate Dak, the creator of these weapons, has been posting videos on his channel going really in depth with each new weapon. So I highly recommend checking those videos out and I will link his channel down below as well. Moving on to the next mod, World War II USA Paratrooper Uniform by POV Combat adds the iconic American World War II Paratrooper Uniform and gear to the game. To get the uniform, you will have to craft it at a chemistry station, and it will be under the paratrooper uniform category. This outfit looks absolutely amazing, and it's very customizable. You can change all sorts of stuff. There are two backpack variants, 60 unique combinations for the uniform, and 324 unique combinations for the helmets. All of the visual upgrades at the workbench are free, so you can try out a ton of different combinations without wasting materials. This outfit is available for both male and female characters, and it supports full dismemberment. I absolutely love this uniform and I can't wait to see what they cook up next. Kind of following along with that World War II theme, the next mod is a power armor mod called the German Porsche 5 Power Armor. 
I hope I pronounced that right. This power armor is pretty neat. It is heavily inspired by the Kubelwagen and Tiger tank with the Stahlhelm style helmet. And the mod page even has some lore for it. It says the Porsche 5 is a power armor of German origin, featuring several differences from American models, such as a singular oxygen tank positioned on the left pauldron and numerous angular surfaces designed to enhance bullet deflection. To find this power armor, just head over to Jamaica Plain. Here you will find a bunker door, and inside this bunker, you will find a man in the power armor. After dealing with him, you can take the armor. Also down here, there is a cryopod and some more information on the terminal explaining why he was here. And I really like that this mod explains why the power armor is here. I think that's pretty cool. But the power armor itself is unique, so it won't spawn on enemies. And as far as stats go, its damage resistance is on par with X01, so it is pretty strong. But overall, it's a great mod. And I love the idea of other countries making their own experimental versions of power armor. A Better World Cabin Workshop Pack adds a complete cabin tile set and a ton of cabin props. The pack includes snappable cabin pieces, walls, porches, stairs, cabinets, and more. Everything snaps together perfectly and you can build an awesome cabin for yourself or for your settlers. It also comes with a cabin clutter pack. This has some smaller decorations like these plants that fit perfectly on shelves, and some wooden bowls and plates as well as some other kitchen items. You also get some weapon displays, you get a wall weapon rack and two standing displays, one for a larger weapon and one for a pistol. Also the cabinets that come with this kit actually have functioning doors so you can put stuff inside and I thought that was a really nice touch. But overall with this cabin workshop pack you can make yourself a cozy cabin to relax in after a long day of exploring the wasteland. Next up we have Earrings of the Commonwealth. This mod adds 30 sets of lore friendly earrings to the game. There are bottle caps, red rocket earrings, a biohazard sign, hollow tags, and even a mini nuke. To craft these items, just head over to a chemistry workbench and look for earrings of the commonwealth. From here, you just need two bobby pins and two plastic, and you can craft any of the earrings. And they work on both male and female characters. Lastly, we have some new texture mods. Retexture Electrical Tower will replace the electrical towers you find in the wasteland with a more worn down look. The mod comes with two options, rusty or mossy, the mossy version looks great if you were using other mods that add more trees and grass, but the rusty version looks really nice as well and makes the towers look extremely old and worn down. On the mod page you can download 1k, 2k, or 4k textures. I downloaded the 4k files and I think they look amazing so I'll be using the mossy version for a while. Up next we have Jester's Better Stone Statues. This will replace all statues from either low res corroded metal or stone into better stone versions with 4k resolution and detail. I really like how the statues look with this mod, like this one here. I think the stone looks much better. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. This was my first time doing a Fallout 4 mod video like this, so I really hope you enjoyed it. I've been covering all sorts of Fallout news for the past few years, but I've never really showcased normal mods before on the channel. When it comes to mods, I've always focused on larger DLC sized mods and things like that, but I've always enjoyed modding my game, and lately Fallout 4 modders have been releasing some really cool stuff, so. Again, I hope you enjoyed the showcase and I'd love to do more of these in the future. But that is pretty much going to be it for this video, so I would like to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching, I really appreciate it. And as always, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of the channel members. Evil Men, 1979, Radcon, Joe Pervincente, Mizator, Bad With Salt, Ed Vale, Ubi Ubi, Terry Lockridge, Ice Cream Manny, Jays the Aussie, I am Mr. Me, not you, Dr. Calamari, Argentier, Shaky Hands Workshop, Leo the Collector Plays, Loopy, Adam Steinson, Robert Kennard, CRM114, Theodore, Slappy Sauce, Omniprotus, Victrix, Axel, Anna S, Golti, Lanthar, Captain Awesome, Heather Henderson, Patrick Ruta, 20 The Ice Fire, Bowser Double Friend, Christy Mellon, Schwitz. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys and have a great day.